Now, Sports Express. At 13-1 and, and a number 13 ranking overall in the state, they finished with one of the best seasons in school history, and the Booker Tornadoes were recognized. Last week, four players named to the first team, two players making the honorable mention list to the Class 3A All-State football team. Some of the guys are right here in studio with us live right now. Dumaka Atkins, the first team offensive lineman. Let's go down the list. Chris Zellner, who made it as well at tight end. And then you have Greg Weeks, an honorable mention at fullback. And then down the line, Willie Phelps, last but not least who made honorable mention all purpose guys thank you for, for joining us it's been like a week to soak this in what's it been like to be named to this to this list I feels great uh, it, it seems like somebody's finally paying me for all the work that I've been doing for these last four years and uh, I didn't make anything last year so it, it feels great to me Chris for you um, I've been waiting four years for to make the all state list so it feels great to me, too. It's the same thing. Was it a shock for you guys? Uh, let's go down the list, Greg, for you, like to see all the guys that made it. I mean, four first team. I mean, that's, that's I mean, for one school in Class 3A, that's pretty impressive. And then two guys, you guys on the end, make an honorable mention. Yeah, I mean, our record says enough. You know, you got you would expect to get some people off the team. Probably not as many as we got, but, you know, we had to be doing something right to have a 13-1 record. So you would expect some people coming off the team, you know. And I'm sure there's some guys that should have made it that weren't, yeah, that were yeah, slighted yeah. as well. Yeah. Willie, a, a big relief for you now. You and as well as Greg are two guys that are already committed. You're going to North Carolina. Big uh, load off your shoulders now. You don't have to worry about things. You can enjoy it while signing day approaches in February. Yeah, pretty much. You know, I just can. I don't have to, uh, you know, make any choices about what schools I got. I can just concentrate on my grades, you know, try to get them high, as high as I can so I can be well fitted, you know. It's pretty much like that. Why North Carolina? Why would you decide to play in the ACC? Because, you know, you have to deal with the environment, and I have to live there for at least, like, four or five years. Mm -hmm. And I would like to be in, you know, a pretty good environment, fun town where I won't have to come home and feel like I want to come home because it's not exciting. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm pretty much the players. They've seen nice coaching staff. It's a pretty good football team. Greg, for you, you're choosing Indiana, the Big Ten. Uh, it's going to be cold. You know that. Yeah. What position do you plan on playing there? I'll be a fullback there. Okay, and, you, and the reason why you picked a, a school like Indiana, because fullback, you're going to be pounding and pounding and pounding because they like to run. Yeah, um, it's just something I'm just trying to get myself ready for right now. I mean, I know obviously the Big Ten, you're playing some of the best competition around the nation. And, you know, I, I figured, I'll say, I, I, I think I can do it. You know, just put myself to the challenge because I'm like a, a, a regular of a hard work, you know. So I think I just push myself like I've been doing for three, four years in high school, you know. And then just take it from there. We'll see what happens. Dumaka, you had a big, big week. You had two big guys in your living room. <laughs> Talk a little bit about that Florida State and Michigan. Uh, yeah, Florida State. Coach Bowden, Coach Dickey, and Coach Higgins came by on Tuesday. Uh, and for Michigan, Coach Mola came by, the O-line coach. Uh, we had pretty good visits uh, to both houses. So it's down to both those two schools, right? Florida State and Michigan? Florida State and Michigan. And Chris, for you, uh, we have three big schools, Miami, Ohio State, and Clemson. Uh, are you guys leaning to any schools? Um, I took to um, Clemson and Ohio State, so I'm kind of leaning to them, too. Um, Ohio State just blew me out of my mind, but Clemson, as a, it kind of caught me by surprise too. So I'm both looking at them too, and I still got Miami next week. So. All right, yeah, you got a lot in front of you. Yeah. A couple of weeks signing day. I'm yeah. sure you guys will think of us. Good luck in your decisions. Thank you guys for joining us, and congratulations on a great season. I'm here with the Booker team, guys. 13 and one, ranked 13th in the state. That says it all. Back to you. We are so proud of them too. Yeah, great year say. for them. We'll be right back. Back from a visit. Uh, in Michigan. Yeah. So what was that like? It was this weekend, of course, and obviously your decision's still in Tallahassee. Yeah, it was real fun and all, uh, but I just couldn't picture myself living up there for five years, four to five years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just felt, I felt like I was at home at Florida State. Uh, all the guys treated me nice, and that's where I want to be. You went on that visit to Tallahassee two weekends ago, right? Yeah. Um, as in projected for an offensive line, center and guard. Yeah. What was the big push? Was it really staying in state, playing in the ACC, being close to family? What was the key? Uh, well, that coach has showed me the most love throughout this whole recruiting process. Uh, but staying close to, to my family, we're a tight-knit group. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was just the icing on the cake. When did you know in your heart? I mean, obviously you had that decision with Florida State two weekends ago, coming back and then going to Michigan this weekend. Did you know before you went to Michigan? Did you have an idea before you went to Michigan? Or did, it, did you decide on your, you know, the trip back? 
well, I compared and contrasted both teams on my plane trip back. It mm -hmm. was a three-hour flight, and uh, I got off the plane and knew where I wanted to go. Is it a big load off of your shoulders? I mean, yeah. you're getting this nine days away before, yeah. you know, the official signing, you know, on signing day. But to get it out, get the relief, to prevent the calls, you know, I'm sure you're going to get berated with calls in the next couple of days now that you're, you know, seminal bound. But is a big load off your shoulders? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a great feeling, though. Uh, it, was, it was fun throughout the whole process, but uh, it feels good to know what school I'm going to and your family's reaction? Yeah, they love it. Yeah, they they're ecstatic? Yeah. I'm sure they are. They get the chance to see it in state. Um, now, talk a little bit about the battle that may be brewing with your brother. He's a defensive <laughs> lineman with uh, Miami. You, you may have the chance to face him. Uh, it'll be fun. Uh, we always compete. We've been competing since we were younger. Uh, it'll just be fun. What was his reaction when he heard about it? Uh, he was happy for me. Yeah. Uh, he was real happy. And have you had the chance to talk to Bobby and the coaching staff? Yeah, actually, just about all the coaches have called me since I committed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Coach Byron, Coach Higgins, Coach Lilly, Coach Dickey, all of them have talked to me in these past two days. Have you had the chance to talk to, of course, of course uh, head coach uh, Fred Gilmore of Booker High School? And yeah. if you had, I'm sure you were uh, talking to him today. What was his reaction? Uh, he was glad for me. Uh, he, he pretty much coordinated this whole, all of these trips and recruiting. So, uh, I told him today. No, I told him yesterday. I called him last night, and uh, he was just glad for me. All right, doing good. Congratulations. Thank going you. to Florida State <laughs> on the offensive line, probably playing guard or center. And good luck to him. Back to you, Heidi and Scott. How exciting. So yeah. many, so much talent here. I'm glad he's staying in state. Good luck. Sure. Good luck. Well, a piece of the past is now in the present day. That's right. Now, News 40 Sports. It was the plane ride home from Ann Arbor yesterday where Dumica Atkins made the decision for his future. The All-State offensive lineman from Booker High School was coming off a weekend visit at Michigan one week after visiting Florida State. Atkins projected to be a guard or center on the offensive line in college today on the Sports Express at 5 o'clock. Atkins was our live in-studio guest to exclusively announce his verbal commitment. Uh, it was a tough decision, but... Uh... I got to go with the nose. Florida State it is. I felt like I was at home at Florida State. Uh, all the guys treated me nice, and that's where I want to be. You went on that visit to Tallahassee two weekends ago, right? Yeah. Um, as in projected for an offensive line, center and guard. Yeah. What was the big push? Was it really staying in state, playing in the ACC, being close to family? What was the key? Uh, well, that coach has showed me the most love throughout this whole recruiting process. Uh, but staying close to, to my family, we're a tight-knit group. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, that was just the icing on the cake. You know, I think he threw everyone off in-house because he was wearing a Barry Sanders jersey. Congratulations to Dumica. All right, one year ago today, the Bucks were the... Now, Sports Express. Welcome back to the Sports Express. Signing day for high school athletes is right around the corner. Eight days to be exact, but you don't have to wait until Wednesday to hear where the local prep stars are headed. First team All-State defensive back Dietrich Belvin from Booker High School joins us live for an exclusive announcement right here on News 40. Dietrich, two schools in the running, Kent State and Eastern Kentucky. What's it going to be? Well, uh, I thought about it a lot and I decided to go to uh, Eastern Kentucky. Congratulations, Eastern Thanks. Kentucky it is. So how did you make that decision? Well, uh, I visited both the schools and uh, I just got a better, feel, a better feel for one of them than I did the other. What was it about Eastern Kentucky that made you say, okay, this is home, this is where I'm going to set up shop? Uh, one, it was, it's not as far away. Uh, they had a, more of a need for a cornerback where I play, and I have a better opportunity to play early. Right. Now, Eastern Kentucky in the Ohio Valley Conference, last year they were 7-5, and five, pretty successful. Uh, when they talk about uh, putting you, getting you in the mix, where do they want to play you? They want to play you at cornerback immediately? Right. Okay, so yeah. it, what exactly do they run? What kind of offense do they run there, or defense? Uh, they run a basic 4-3 defense, same as we ran. Yeah. Now, your family's got to be very excited about the decision. Talk about that. I mean, did you consult them, or was this you exclusively? No, it was pretty much everybody in my family. Um, people from school, my co coach Fred, everybody uh, gave me their input and how they felt about things and just came down to my decision. And what's Coach Gilmore's uh, reaction to this? I mean, what is, what is his response? He just happened to see me to get, uh, go somewhere 
where I can move on and grow and develop. Now, was this always a dream for you? I mean, playing football, did you always have this in mind, or is this something that you kind of grew into as you got better and better? Well, at first, it was just something I was doing. As I got into high school, it, was, it, it became more of a dream. As I got better, and it became more uh, realistic. Now, the difference between, uh, one of the differences between Kent State and uh, Eastern Kentucky is that Kent State is a 1A school, but Eastern Kentucky is a 1AA school, but the difference is you're going to get a chance to play right away at Eastern Kentucky, right? That was uh, big in your, in your choice? Right. Okay. I'm going to get a chance to compete early for our starting position. Yeah. All right. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Dietrich Belvin on his way to Eastern Kentucky. Coming up next, we'll have more news and notes for you right after the break. Now, News 40 Sports. All right, 5'11", 200 pounds, and he runs a 4'3", 40-yard dash. He's a gifted football player. Booker Nation knows it, and so do recruiters. We're talking about All-State cornerback Dietrich Belvin from Booker High School. Earlier today in our 5 o'clock show, the senior two-year starter announces college intentions exclusively here on ABC 40. The top two contenders were Kent State and Eastern Kentucky. Well, uh, I thought about it a lot, and I decided to go to uh, Eastern Kentucky. They had a, more of a need for a cornerback, which I play, and I have a better opportunity to play early. All right, congratulations to Dietrich Belvin. Switching speeds, the Venice girls. Now, Sports Express. Earlier this week on the Sports Express, we brought you the exclusive with Dumika Atkins and Dietrich Belvin's college future. Today, another All-State Booker standout on the set with us to make the announcement live about his future. Chris Zellner, the big tight end and defensive end who earned first team All-State honors joining us. Thank you, of course, Chris. The schools you had it down to, you know, obviously Ohio State, Clemson, and Miami, top three, top Division I schools. Now, your decision comes down to this. It's going to be the University of Miami. Yeah? Yeah. I have to go with the boys in the state. Why the decision? Because you just came back from a weekend trip, of course, down in uh, South Florida. Uh, you, you talked to me beforehand. You said the feel. Explain the feel of uh, the Miami program. I think they didn't really sugarcoat anything. They just told me straight up, this is how it is, and this is how it's going to be. And, you know, it kind of got me excited to see that they let freshmen start. They let if you practice like you play or something, like the way they do it, mm -hmm. they let you play. So that kind of got me a little bit. Now, the people at home, let's also set this up. Now, you're, you're all state tight end, but you're going to go there playing a different position, a defensive end. Why that? I think that's because my speed off the ball. I mean, I do like playing tight end, but, you know, they got... They have two coming in, and they also have another one. But if I'm ever needed, I will play there a little. But mainly, they want me at the end. Are you excited about the prospects of playing with another Booker grad, uh, Baraka Atkins? Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very. And to play against Doom and, you know, other people from my school is going to be exciting, too. Yeah, Dumaka Atkins announcing that he's going to Florida State. That's going to be a little bit weird, the possibilities in the next couple years to see him <laughs> on the other side, on the offensive line for Florida State. It will be. It will be. But it's going to be fun and all. And all. Big load off your shoulders a week before signing day officially? Yeah, it is. It's... No more calls. That's the main thing. <laughs> That's the big thing. Huh? That's the main thing. <laughs> you don't have to change your phone number or get it disconnected. No. Talk a little bit about your family and, and the reaction with them. I mean, playing in-state, uh, was that another big uh, goal for you? I think they were shocked at first, and then they kind of just got into it. They kind of said, well, he is closer to home, so... You know, they're kind of excited about that. Now, the two positions, uh, tight end and defensive end, Miami has been basically university for the defensive line, shooting it to the NFL, as well as tight end. Uh, was that a big lure for you, considering that the defensive front four of Miami is always being selected in the draft? I want to say big because, my, as my parents say, they always want me to get academics first. So yeah. I will graduate before I even think about going to the pros, but that is kind of big. That is big in a way was saying, you know, I have that option. So. Yeah. Chris, well, thank you for joining us. It's good that you have your academics in line as well. Miami bound. <laughs> Chris Zellner, another Booker standout going to the University of Miami. Scott, Heidi. Big week at Booker mm -hmm. High School, huh? Yeah, very exciting. Still ahead, did you bring enough Valentines for the entire class? Some rules. Now, News 40 Sports.
First, it was Dumika Atkins, then Dietrich Belvin making their announcement right here on News 40 on their college choices. Today, it was Chris Zellner's turn, one of the best tight ends in the state, announced his decision live today, and the outstanding tight end will be shifting to the defensive side when he plays college football. One week before signing day, the Booker star made a verbal commitment to play at Miami and on the defensive end side, Zellner narrowed his choices down to Clemson and Miami. Coming off a weekend trip down in Coral Gables, Zellner said Miami just uh, felt right. They, they didn't sugarcoat anything. I mean, they told me how it is, you know, and they, they got a great education program. You jump right into your major. So it's, it's exciting. That's why I lie. They said that if you come and you compete that week and you beat out the person who started, that you will start. I mean, and it's proven that they started freshmen before. So, you know, it's kind of exciting that I feel I have a strong chance of doing that. Congratulations to Chris. District semifinals for girls soccer. Express. One of the most important days in college athletics is also the most important day for high school student athletes. That day is signing day and the Suncoast talent taking center stage. At Booker High School, the football program that finished 13th in the state showed off its talent with more than a half a dozen players getting scholarships. Don Bell was there this morning. He joins us live from the newsroom. Don, and it, you know, I'm sure there was a lot of smiles and a breath of uh, air with some relief as this day's passing. Yes, yeah, smiles, tears, tears of joy. Uh, it was a terrific day, an emotional day on the campus of Booker High School as some athletes finally got a chance to realize their dreams. Hugs all around for some of Booker football's finest. Today, seven athletes made the biggest decision of their young lives by signing on the dotted line and sealing their academic futures. Got that big monkey off my back. Well, we call him the fat girl, but I got that fat girl on my back now. <laughs> I, I ain't even gonna lie, I was real nervous, hands sweating, everything. I was just hoping I wasn't gonna trip or something like that. I slip off, <laughs> slip off the stage. After months and in some cases years of being recruited, Oliver McNeil decided on Lackawanna Community College in Pennsylvania, Dietrich Belvin, in Eastern Kentucky, Greg Weeks, Indiana, Daniel Phelps, North Carolina, Dumica Atkins, Florida State, Chris Zellner, Miami, and Terrence Jones, the University of South Florida. About 80, 70 schools wanted me early off, but it was, it was really hard to get down to five, and you had to get down to three, and you had to get down to one, but I felt real comfortable going to the school because it did feel like home. And it's the influence of home, family, and the coaching staff that has motivated these players to excel. I'm doing something that she wasn't able to do. I'm just taking the, the next step for the next generation of my family. Oh, I had tears come from my eyes, you know. Like, it's for all the people who thought I wanted to go make it, and I finally made it. This is actually for everyone, you know, who's supported me throughout this whole thing, but especially my parents, because, you know, I, I grew up rough, you know, and I, I just made my, I, deter I was determined to be successful. The seven players that signed today represent the largest signing class at Booker High School since 1995, Kevin. And Fred Gilmore is still working to get more guys to sign on the dotted line. And, of course, we'll have those stories for you as they become available. Back to you. All right, Don. Thank you once again. Meanwhile, in Manatee County, a pair of all-state linemen getting Division I scholarships. Bryce Framark has the story. Two-time All-State defensive lineman C.J. Honeycutt committed today to play football at the University of South Florida in the fall. He was heavily recruited, but says that USF head coach's interest in him and a trip to campus was all that it took. Me and Coach Levitt, we met in a little hotel, in the hotel room up there, and it was, he sat there talking to me. He's like, we need a commitment from you now. And I was like, well, you got it. So, and he about fell out of his chair and I knew that was the right place to go. Joining CJ today was Hunter Green going to Farley Dickinson, Marion Rumpf to Western Kentucky, and Willie Barton to Georgia Military Academy. Meanwhile, over at Palmetto High School, All-State offensive lineman Kane Hannaford considered USF, but signed today with Kentucky. He can't wait for the competition. Playing for the SEC, it's going to be great. It's playing against all the teams that I've watched my whole life. Joining Hannaford at the table today were two of his teammates. Defensive back Josh Mitchell, who will be going to Army, and running back Eddie Hills, who will play for Bethune-Cookman in the fall. Their coach Bob Bowling says there couldn't be three more deserving players. They've put forth the effort in the classroom as well as on the field, and I'm real proud of them. In Manatee County, Bryce Framark, News 40 Sports.
Thanks, Bryce. All right, here's the rundown of signing day commitments. Booker leading the pack. Atkins going to Florida State. Zellner to Miami. Daniel Phelps to North Carolina. Greg Weeks to Indiana. Dietrich Belvin to Eastern Kentucky. Oliver McNeil to Lackawanna Community College. Lakewood Ranch with Rogers to Tennessee State. Sismacia will kick at Florida State. Riverview boasting two D1 players. Drew Miller will block at Florida. Charles Robinson in the defensive backfield at Duke. Manatee, C.J. Honeycutt going to South Florida. Defensive tackle. Barton going to Georgia Military Academy. Hunter Green to Fairleigh Dickinson. Marion Rump to Western Kentucky. Bay Shores, Sedarian Adams had Nebraska waiting on the phone this morning, but he chose to play wide out at Michigan State. Running back David Jones to Bethune Cookman. Dusty Bear from Venice going to Western Kentucky. Brad Allen to Vanderbilt. Marcus Platt will move to D back at West Virginia. Josh Mitchell at Palmetto, and he's going to Army. Kane Hannaford. The offensive lineman choosing Kentucky, Eddie Hills, the Bethune-Cookman outside of football. We go to the soccer signings. Jake Wyman of Lakewood Ranch going to Coker College in South Carolina. And Rob Rattini of Riverview going to Elmhurst in Illinois. And the twins from Lakewood Ranch, Judith and Hannah Ospina choosing Columbus State. While I will catch my breath, we have a lot more coming up at 6 o'clock around Sarasota and Manatee County on the big signings. Back to you guys. All right. Congratulations, everyone. Absolutely. Hard work worth it. We'll be right back. Who's 40 Sports? Outside of action on the field, the biggest day of competition for Florida, Florida State, and Miami is signing day. And early reports has Miami third, Florida State fourth, and Florida sixth overall in signing the top recruits in the country. And the Suncoast playing a role. A pair of Booker stars signing with the Seminoles and Hurricanes, offensive linemen. Dumick Atkins and defensive end Chris Zellner all smiles today as seven Tornado players sign on to play college football. Defensive back Dietrich Belvin is going to Eastern Kentucky. Fullback Greg Weeks to Indiana. Running back Terrence Jones staying in state with South Florida. Specialist Daniel Phelps to North Carolina and strong safety Oliver McNeil to Lackawanna Junior College. A special day for one of the best teams in the state. I got a lot of support here at Booker, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, a lot more people in Sarasota know about IU. That's why I feel pretty confident about going there because after I get my education, it seems like there's nowhere I can't go. The environment, the people, you know, I have to live there for the next four or five years. So that's what I made my decision based on. You know, they got a, the teachers sound like they got a good educational program. That's why I decided to go. At Riverview, Rob Rattini, Drew Miller, and Charles Robinson all smiles. No one can top the emotions of Charles' father. The defensive back is heading to Duke. Drew Miller is going to Florida. Rattini is playing soccer at Elmhurst. Miller will join Steve Rissler on the Gators' offensive line. It's going to be great to be back like the old days when we used to play next to each other. And uh, it's going to be great, you know, having a friend up there to get right settled in real quick. It's very exciting, and it's like a weight off my shoulders knowing that I'm going to Duke. You know, getting a good education and being in like the top ranked conference in the United States. South Sarasota County, Venice defensive back Marcus Platt has his eyes set on West Virginia. Offensive lineman Dusty Bear going to Western Kentucky. And Brad Allen, he's going to Vanderbilt. Platt said loyalty, the difference in his decision. Uh, they, they recruited me pretty hard. Like, they said I was one of the top, top recruits this year, and they really wanted me, and they showed me. There's so much traditions at all these other schools, and just to be a part of that is just something that most kids never get to experience in their life, and I'm just very fortunate that I can. In Manatee County, Bayshore's phone's ringing and waiting on word of Sedarian Adams. He stayed with his choice of Michigan State, even though Nebraska did not believe it. Running back David Jones chose Bethune-Cookman. Adams knew he was going to be a Spartan on Christmas Day, and he uh, never looked back. I had like Miami just pop up, Florida, USC, a lot of schools start popping up. And I feel just like they, they weren't loyal to me, like they really didn't respect me as an athlete. So. Um, by them being there for me since my junior year, that would have played a big role in my decision. I never thought even Bethune would come and even look at me. Then I, one day I got a phone call. I was shocked. I was very happy. So right there in my mind, like, yeah, I'm going to go there. C.J. Honeycutt, one of four Manatee players, planning to play college football. Defensive tackle Willie Barton will go the junior college route to Georgia Military Academy. Tight end Hunter Green to Farley Dickinson. Defensive back Marion Rump to Western Kentucky. For Honeycutt, the decision was easy to become a bull. I went on my visit and uh, me and Coach Levitt, we met in a little hotel, in the hotel room up there and it was, he sat there talking, he's like, we need a commitment from you now. And I was like, well, you got it. So, and he about fell out of his chair and I knew that was the right place to go. 
Al Pep at Palmetto High School. All-State offensive lineman Kane Hannaford going to Kentucky. Joining him today, Josh Mitchell, who will attend Army, and Eddie Hills, the running back, heading to Bethune-Cookman. As for Hannaford, he's listed at 6'6", 335 pounds, and he's only going to get bigger and better playing in the SEC. It was awfully hard on us as coaches to have him practice because he was so much bigger. Most of our kids are 190, 220 pound kids. And he outweighed them 150 pounds, you know, and it just, it really wasn't anything that he could work against during the week. And Lakewood Ranch's Gary Sismacia will play at Florida State. We'll have, also they had a couple of um, soccer players too. We're going to have the story at 11 o'clock. Also, the exclusive Drew Henson training in Bradenton. We're the first to talk to him in the country about his decision to play football. Big story. Yes. Thank you, Kevin. Sure. We'll be right back.